Hey guys, it's Book Crazy Katie. Welcome to my bookshelf reorganization tour. And please find me on social media at the following. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Book Crazy Katie. And today I'm gonna do a bookshelf reorganization. It shouldn't be too crazy. I pretty much just wanna have it so my hardback cover books are down at the bottom and all my paperbacks are more at the top. Um, I haven't done anything to these shelves since I got them. They're still going to be organized the same by height, but they're just going to be reversed. And I think I'm going to put, when I have my paperback copies up here, I think this top shelf is going to have my red paperback. It's time to get to work. Sorry I've been gone from BookTube for nearly a year now, but life happens and here I am, here in the quarantine. While I'm doing this, I'm going to um, listen to the Goldfinch, unless I get tired of it at some point, and then it might be music. is like thin and tall. Guys, thin and tall. This is like the new mass market paperback book versus like the shorter water. I don't know how much I like this, but it's also mass market paperback, which seems not ideal a lot of times. tell you guys that the way the bookshelves were before I started were unread books on top, box sets in the middle, and then um, mostly read books, but there's also unread books down there too, and then with the hard covers, I just lump my, um, you can't see it down here, I don't think, but I lumped in my um, audio book, which might have to find a new home. Thank you. 
So, I have a gripe with this, guys. I don't know if any of you guys have a gripe with this. I don't know if any of you guys have, um... I'm, I'm awkward. It's not gonna... I know I should be both awkward kids, but it's crazy kids. You got a gripe with that, guys. <laughs> so, um, my gripe with this is that order a box set. Not really a box. Not really a box. And then you end up with, like, these falling out of order. So, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I should finish these someday. Someday. Because I read the first three, and I still haven't read the last three, so. says I talked about it in a video at some point, but nobody talks about this person or this book. Never heard about it. My boyfriend had actually read it and he's not into reading like I am at all. <laughs> and he read this when he was like a teenager. Yeah, he read it in high school and really liked this book and talked about it. I think I look it up and then I surprised him with it by getting it for him. And then I've read it. <laughs> It's really good. I actually have another book by this author that looks like it's another horror novel um, on my Kindle that I hope to get to at some point. I have no idea what it's about, but that's okay. figure out some system of hauling books because I don't haul them but they're also not my like favorite videos. I like them a lot when I first started watching the videos but they're all kind of the same so it's probably part of why I don't really do it ever. But sometimes I miss out on things like this. Like I've been wanting to get a word cloud edition book for a long time and I finally committed to it about Wither and Night. I haven't been able to read it but <laughs> This is super pretty and like it's so it's kinda I guess not as sloppy as it seems, but it seems like it opens and closes so easily. And it just I like the feel of like the way it's happening. Um, for you guys out there, as I've mentioned about the whole, like, having pain issues and stuff, it has actually, like, severely made it difficult for me to read the last year. Would you guys like to maybe see a video on ways that I've had to, um, adapt my reading in order to be able to read without causing, like, significant pain? So I was getting, like, pinched nerves and stuff as a result, and then, one time when I tried to introduce my reading, I was feeling a lot better as far as pain went. I ended up um, 
getting to a point where I was really not doing really well, like worse than I was when I started um, reading. So if you guys would like, I could do a video. This is one I've been thinking about, and I end up doing it anyway. Um, I imagine other people out there love to read and also have physical limitations. Okay, so the hard part with my red, red paperback is I'm going to have to mix them with unread paperback, like put unread ones behind it, but I need to see how much of the shelf they take up now. I really don't like this setup right here, but it seemed to be the only way I was going to have space. 
do it. So, this is what it is for now. I need to get to reading some of these books, which are proven problematic, but maybe if I start taking off some of the shorter ones, like I'm sure I'll want to get rid of like R.L. Stein, the babysitter. And I don't know how much I'll like Touch Every Laughter, but I want to check it out. And then, I might eventually just unfollow certain books, like James Patterson books. I kind of want to check out James Patterson, but I kind of don't care. I have a feel. I did it! It's all rearranged. Um, there's a couple elements I don't like, but I end up reading, finding a way to work off more of this stuff. Maybe I can find out which of these books, because I'm sure plenty of these unread books are going to be books I'm not going to care that much about and not want to keep. So, I get to work on my unread books, I should be able to get my bookshelf more manageable. And hopefully not buy any right now is kind of helping. And I was right, I have no space for my audiobook, so I'll have to find a new home for them. 